Hi everybody, all my followers, be welcome to another video. So the video today is on a 2000 and... Well, I think it's a 2008. Uh, not really important, I think. Uh, it's a Nissan, Nissan Pathfinder. Pathfinder. <clears throat> I don't even know which engine is on this. Possibly the 3.5, I guess, or 3 liter. Don't know. Um, anyway, that's not important for the video. So this car, the the... The background with this car is that this car has been at a garage to do a head gasket. They were asked to look at a different problem as well. They replaced the sensor, didn't work. And from there, from the looks of it, they refused to work on the car again. So I'll show you where the problem is. Let me start. So that's the problem. Hold on, there to run a little bit longer. So that's the problem. ABS, ESP, uh, and all that stuff. Okay. So, apparently they replaced a front... Well, I don't know if it was left or right. Uh, but they replaced the front sensor, ABS sensor. That apparently did not fix the problem. And as I said, uh, they told the owner they didn't work. They did not want to work on the car any further. So the car came to me, and that's what we're gonna do now. Let's see if we can figure out what's wrong with it, and see if we can fix it. Okay, let's gonna have a look at my ABS. By the way, guys, while that is loading, my 7 series broke down guys yeah it looks like the alternator is gone on it more video material right it's loaded read codes my codes are for front okay front right hand okay so front right hand let's gonna go back it's gonna go to live data might be that no Yes, it is. So front, right, so rear, front, right. So that's the one we need to look at. Okay, I can't drive for too much because my new car is right behind this. So we'll go back a little bit and we'll just look at all the sensors and we'll, we'll just confirm that the rear right is now reading. Front. See that? Just red. Oh no, sorry, that's left front rear let's put that one to the top so we look at the top one I'm gonna go forward okay so they're all red I can't look at the at the phone or the tool because I'm looking at what I'm doing so you guys can look at it okay I can then watch the recordings but I'm pretty sure I can see that there is no readings from that sensor so, uh, front right is going to be this side, so let me put the, this a little bit to that side to give me more room to work. Okay, so right now, what do we know? There is a fault for that sensor, front right, and live data just confirms that the front right sensor is giving us no readings. So, let's first check that that sensor has been actually uh, changed. Um, we could have still a faulty sensor, you never know, uh, but um, yeah, let's gonna try to trace this fault down. I hope the wheel is not gonna fall off because I have all the nuts already removed. Oh no, there's one in there still, sorry. So what I'm gonna do now is just let's go to live data. Actually, I've, I've speed the wheel and gone, no faults detected, to live data. You see we input signals, there's a little bit of clear which I do apologize. So we want the front right hand sensor. Let's gonna go put that at the top. Let's isolate all the other sensors. Okay, so let's gonna look at that right now. I'm gonna spin the wheel by hand. And I get nothing. It's difficult to spin the wheel. But there is basically no, nothing from this wheel. Okay, so there is nothing from the wheel. The table is, looks like new, so it looks like they actually replaced the sensor. So let's gonna 
now remove the wheel and have a better look at this okay guys and because it is that easy the first thing I'm going to do is going to be measure the wiring from the ABS module all the way to the wheel arch if it was more complicated I might leave this for the next stage but because it's right here we're going to try to unplug this and just get it quick checked see if the wire is checked okay and then we'll go from there okay guys so this is unplugged to start with I don't have the pin out but uh, surely it's not difficult to guess if I don't find two wires here two pins here that uh, get continuity then obviously something is wrong so I'm probing one of the wires in there and let's gonna see if I find one here Okay, there is one, so this is good. Let's kind of swap the wheel, the, the wire on the sensor plug and check the next one. And I would guess it's gonna be the pin right after, maybe. No, it's not. Okay, and it looks like, let me check again, it looks like we have a, um, an actually wiring problem. Let me go again. Okay, I can't find a match because I found continuity is the first pin here on this row there right after my uh, fingernail so that's one of the pins I was guessing that the next pin would be the ones right after which it might be but I've been now connected to my let me see oh dear to my black wire and I couldn't find a match so let's gonna follow this wire back try to see if we find what the problem is okay guys and uh, I've stripped the loom here a little bit let me place the camera should have done that before I start recording um, I've stripped the loom here a little bit and I think I found my wires here is a twisted pair black and white hope I'm right and what I'm gonna do now is using one of these I know we will repair the wire afterwards uh, with some uh, liquid tape but what I want to find out is if my problem is from here backwards or from here forward if, if here the wire is okay I will open the loom at the end and we'll do the same test okay so let's do it okay guys and I'm getting so I'm piercing the black wire and I'm getting absolutely nothing as you can see and just to make sure we are on the right pair that's gonna pierce the Y one I know I shouldn't be piercing wires in there but they are quite protected and we will use liquid tape to seal the, the, the wire again no worries so let's try to pierce the oops the white wire to see if we are on the right pair of wires because it might be that there is another pair somewhere 
We are actually piercing the wrong wire. Let's try pierce this one. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Okay, so we are in the right pair. So, what this reveals to me straight away, my problem is somewhere from here, all the way there. So, it's going to be quite easy to find the issue, hopefully. But, there is a major issue, because there is a reason why I've stripped the loom here, because look at that. How the heck I'm going to go through this loom? Oh dear, let's see. My only, th my only concern is, I could replace this wire from here to there, and problem would be fixed. My problem is, if this wire is failing, I want to make sure whatever has made this wire to fail is not close to make other things to fail. Because otherwise we might be resolving this issue by bypassing this wire, but soon other things will come up. So I'm going to try to dismantle as much as I can here, take this box out, remove all this stuff out and see if I can have a better access to that uh, trunking, um, to the loom and see if we can see where the issue is. And just one quick thing, I'm still piercing the wire. Let's see if I find the pin over here. And I think it's going to be the one straight after the the white one because usually they are paired together. So it's going to be this one was the white, so this is going. To, okay, there we go. So as you can see, my wiring is all good from here to that point. So my issue is over there, just as we said. And guys, did I find my issue? And now, well, you're going to be able to see it. Can you see in there? Can you see there? Look at that. Oh dear, can you see in there? Let's take this bracket off to give us a little bit more room. Okay, bracket removed, and look at that. Is this gonna be my issue? I guess it will. Let's strip this down and see what we find out. Might not be, but you never know. Actually, look, my pair comes right under this tape let's try to do this oh there he is, look at that he's already gone, look let's see if I show you this where's the black wire? it's already there, look it's already split, look there he is there he is, my problem right guys, I'm not going to take you through the repair of this uh, there's no point, he's stripped this loom repair, I'll leave links in the description below on how I do repair wires in these places so that's going to repair it, put everything back on, and hopefully we'll have a fix. Okay hey guys, so that's uh, covered in electrical tape. I'm just going to let it dry, so it should be moisture and waterproof. And the repair is done as well, okay. So now I'm just going to quick measure uh, again, but it should be a uh, quick measure again from the sensor plug connector to the ABS connector. Providing is okay. Let's gonna put everything back on Okay, and this plugged in there on my black wire uh, Which will then root properly through the Through the thingy. So let's turn this on Let's check for continuity and Look at that bingo right guys. I'm not gonna bother you to get you through the put everything back together. I've said it already many times. Let's gonna put this and then wrap this video out or wrap it up. It should be fixed anyway. So let's do it. Okay, guys, everything is back in place. Okay, I didn't have black cable ties long enough, so I put these white ones. Doesn't look so good, but I need to get some black ones. But yeah, everything is connected. Okay, the wheel is there just with one nut. And what we're gonna do, ignition is on. We have a fault on the ECU for the steering angle because I had the battery disconnected, most likely. But let's kinda go front right, let's isolate this. I'm gonna spin the wheel and hopefully you're gonna see some readings in there. Okay, so as you have seen, 
I had to stop the video, go and watch the, the clip, but yes, it is reading, so we should be good oh dear. to go, I guess. So, the only fault I have now, let's gonna start the car, by the way, and let's try to see. So, the only fault I have now is this, okay, I believe it's because we have the battery disconnected. It's gonna come out of this, let's cycle the ignition. Okay, as you can see, all my other lights are off. We just have this ESP light. Let's, I don't know if I need to... I don't know if I need to drive the car to realign this. Perhaps I need, I don't know. Yeah, I think, I think I might need to drive the car unless there is some sort of steering sensor alignment perhaps to know let me investigate and get this sorted okay guys and we are here ready to calibrate the steering angle sensor I had to get the van outside the van here we go the pathfinder outside because you need to be neutral position uh, when driving straight ahead and touch start so I'm going to put this actually a little bit more just like this let me drive back so I can get out of the walkway okay okay and it tells me that I'm gonna have to, to drive straight ahead press start and drive straight ahead so guys, uh, because I'm going to be driving, um, I'm going to do that now. So press start, go through the procedure, and hopefully that will get my steering angle uh, sorted. And that's it, it's that simple. I didn't even left the road. So I could actually record this. So all you have to do is press uh, OK. And then it says completed. You drive straight line for like 10 meters or so. And light goes off, as you can see, it's all done. So, yeah, that's simple, guys. So I think I'm going to finish this video here. Uh, that's it for the problem with the, the ABS sensor. Uh, what else to say? I hope there's some information here you guys are going to find it useful. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you do have any questions, any comments, uh, just put them below. And guys, like always, thanks for watching.